To security experts who watched the January 6th riot at the Capitol, memories of the 2012 attacks on U.S. embassies in Tunisia and Sudan came to mind. Well, my drop, jaw dropped because of the fact that it happened to, to see people in the United States doing this as opposed to what happens overseas. Keith Eustis is president of Fabrication Designs, Inc., a manufacturing firm that makes reinforced doors and windows for U.S. government buildings. His products were not installed at the Capitol, where a mob successfully broke through using their fists and a flagpole. That allowed them to enter through the, through the openings of the glass. And I really felt it needed to be a stronger perimeter. The nonpartisan task force charged with reviewing security after the Capitol breach agrees. Its report recommends reinforcing doors and windows, the deployment of mobile fencing and retractable barriers, the hiring of more than 800 Capitol police officers, and a more efficient decision-making process for security leadership in a crisis. More than 5,000 National Guard troops remain protecting the nation's capital, a jarring sight for Americans who are unaccustomed to seeing their military at work outside of natural disasters or foreign wars. But these troops will eventually go home. The plan is to replace them with a rapid response team of local guardsmen who could deploy to the capital at the first sign of trouble. And after the suspension of six Capitol Police officers for their alleged role in supporting rioters on January 6th, background checks are recommended for all identification card holders who work at the Capitol. If people are going to be here protecting us, we'd like them to go through the same background checks and security assessments. Two months after the riot, the so-called People's House still stands behind barbed wire and armed guards. Security experts say the U.S. Capitol can return to its normal look. We do it either with additional concrete and steel, or we do it with um, laminated and polycarbonate type glass, um, or, you know, steel doors, etc. But also, all of that can be hidden. The cost of the security recommendations run hundreds of millions of dollars, and some members of Congress have already balked at the price. But included in the report is a warning. The threat from domestic extremists is growing, and the need to arm a robust defense is urgent. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington.